Hello, welcome to the Korean Minhwa Museum. We are the main characters of Jack Hodo, Tiger, and Magpie. Let's get into the world of Minhwa with us. Let's go! Why do we call these paintings Minhwa? Well, I don't know. The word Minhwa is composed of two Chinese letters, Min, meaning folks, and Hua, paintings. So when combined together, the word Minhwa means folk paintings. However, Minhwa was not for folks only as the name suggests. Then, what is Minhwa? And when did it start? Let's get into the story of Minhwa. Let's go! A long time ago, in the period of United Shilla, there was a person named Cho Young. When he showed mercy to a wicked ghost who did terrible things, the ghost, touched by his generosity, promised him that he would not show up in the place where his face painting was placed. So, the Korean ancestors drew the face of Cho Young and put it on the gate, thinking bad things would never happen to them by doing so. This kind of custom is called Moonbei. Moonbei! Moonbei! Moonbei continued during the Koryo dynasty after the period of United Shilla. Also, Chip Jang Sangdo, paintings of the Ten Perpetual Things, appeared as Sewa. Sewa refers to the paintings drawn celebrating the New Year's Day to wish good luck and prevent demons and misfortunes. Sewa! Sewa! Now, let's travel to the Joseon Dynasty. In Joseon Dynasty, various types of Sewa were drawn. And when the New Year's Day came, the king would make Dohaso, the court painting institute, draw various sorts of Sewa and gave the paintings to his officials as a gift. Also, since the palace was huge and fancy, various paintings were placed in every corner. Those paintings, used to decorate the palace, are called Gungjung Jang Shikwa, decorative court paintings. Wow, beautiful! In the late Joseon Dynasty, the public became interested in various paintings with good meanings, used as Sehwa and Gungjung Jang Shikwa. So they drew, sold, and bought these paintings to decorate their houses. Now, we call these paintings Minhua. Minhua! Minhua! So, the formation of Minhua was made through Moonbei custom, started from the paintings of Cho Young's face in the period of United Shilla, Ship Jang Sengdo, paintings of the Ten Perpetual Things, of Sewa, New Year's paintings, of Koryo Dynasty, various Sewa and Gungjung Jang Shikwa, decorative court paintings of Chosun Dynasty, and finally Minhua was born in the late Chosun Dynasty. The Korean ancestors drew Minhua with their dreams and hopes and decorated their houses such as gates, main rooms, and guest rooms. Also, they used Minhua at various ceremonies, such as ancestor memorial services and wedding ceremonies. Therefore, Minhua refers to the very Korean-style paintings with lives, dreams, and wisdom of the Korean ancestors. Minhua! Minhua! Then, let's look at the process of drawing Minhua. First of all, draw the outlines. After that, color the background with a wide brush. After the paper gets fully dried, color the drawing starting from white to dark colors. And then, give shades. Lastly, correct the outlines one more time and complete it. Haha, <laughs> how do you like it? Isn't it great? 
Awesome! Awesome! Minhua, drawn like this, has many different kinds. And each kind of Minhua contains different meanings. Now, let's look at actual pieces of Minhua exhibited at the Korean Minhua Museum and get to know more details about various meanings. Have a good time!